Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show how you can use substitution to help you factor more complicated factoring problems, or at least more complicated looking factoring problems. So let's take a look at a problem that looks like this. Let's take a look at something that's x plus 1 quantity squared minus 2 times the quantity x plus 1 plus 1. This looks a little more complicated. We think we might have to use our multiplication patterns and multiply this and distribute the negative 2 through and simplify. That's one way to do that, but you'll find that it's much easier to use substitution to help us out here in this particular problem. What we can do is we can let some variable not in the original question, so we're not going to use x here, we have to use something else, take on the unknown for the quadratic, the quantity squared, and the linear, this middle one here, terms, or any other necessary terms. So the other variable you will use is a. So we'll let a equal the quantity x plus 1. So a is going to replace x plus 1 in our problem here. So now we end up with a squared, x plus 1 squared, minus 2a plus 1. You may recognize that, or you should recognize that. That is a perfect square trinomial. So we can factor that to a minus 1 quantity squared. But our original question had x in it. a is x plus 1. So we have to replace a again to x plus 1. We've got to substitute x plus 1 back in to our answer here. So now we take this x plus 1, we put it back in for a, and we get x plus 1 minus 1 quantity squared. We'll simplify what's in parentheses here. So we're going to simplify x plus 1 minus 1, so it just becomes x, and then in our parentheses, quantity squared, so it just becomes x squared. So very simple, very elegant, very easy. All we ask you to do at the end, though, is to make sure you substitute back. That's the common mistake. So we'll do more of these in class, and we'll see you there.